Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Classy Tacos. Today is going to be the first step in getting our bumper in. I have these brackets from C45. They're like the bumper tie-in brackets. All right, so here we are looking at my suspension and the way that this bracket lines up, it ties in right here into your uh, sway bar mount, the bolts on the bottom there. So what we're gonna have to do, you see that nice angle that you got right here? What we're gonna end up doing with this is uh, trying to cut this back to follow that line. We'll lose this mount where uh, it ties into the frame, but we'll get to retain these two. So I would, I would much rather keep this mount. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to use this and keep the mount. So we're gonna fab all this up. Uh, that mount, the bracket, is going to kind of line up here and go straight back and tie in your sway bar mount. So what I'm going to do right now is just kind of trim this back just a little bit. Uh, I'll probably get more trimming once the bumper's in, but for now, just to line this bracket up, we're going to trim this out and see how that goes. What I want to do right now is get into the sway bar bolt so I can kind of mock up the bracket. But in order to do that, I gotta pop the uh, skid plate off so I can get into that back bolt. Just makes it a lot easier. So we're gonna knock that out. All right, now we got those off. We have access to the sway bar bolts that are right there. So we're gonna Pop those off. All right, so let me give you an idea of what I'm planning to do with the brackets. If you see, let me get this plastic out of the way. You see right here, the bracket is kind of loosely on there. And what I'm planning to do is make a cut right here to follow that line and then cut this out. So basically this will butt up against the frame like it's supposed to. This will slide in better and tie into the uh, sway bar mounts right down there. And that way we can retain these two bolts. So I want you guys to see there is, there's that rough line that I'm going to cut. See how it's following this, uh, same angle here we're going to cut that off and then cut that flat that way so here's an idea of uh, what we're looking at and the cuts that we're going to make so we're going to end up losing this one hole but this piece is going to be gone and allow this to slide and kind of butt up against the uh, king's reservoir mount that's going to be cut straight down this way and then kind of as flush as i can here and then we just fine tune a little bit on both sides. It really sucks that it's raining, but uh, I really need to get this done today because I got a couple things I need to do tomorrow. So. I really wanted to speed through this, but I need everybody to know this took about an hour's worth of work between the cutting disc and the flapper disc just to fine tune and trying to make it look good. We're in and tucked. This is the spot where you're gonna have to kind of play right here, get that in right. But if you look, everything is in there, bolted nice and tight. 
Um, if I could change anything, I would have liked to have this maybe just a little bit tighter in here, but I'm happy with that. The driver's side is done. It did take about 20 minutes of, you know, cutting and fine tuning. Um, and then if you look here, this is tight up against here. So, so just to test fit how the tightness here, um, what I wanted to do was push it up against the frame mounts right here. Um, you have the, you know, the bumper is going to go behind this. So we are going to have this, you know, come out just a little bit. So we're good. There is the first test fitting. So here is the test fit on the passenger side. So there we are all bolted in pieces still going under with the bolts for the uh, bracket for the resi mount that go into the sway bar mount everything is tied in it's up here nice and tight up against here and i, I made it pretty tight up here because i want to make sure that right here is a little tight right here it doesn't want to kind of go in all the way so you just want to make sure you play with this area here and this is going to come out a little bit once the bumper is in because Bumper goes first and this goes on top of the bumper. So I know that that was a ton of work and it's not for everybody, but if you want to, it can be done. I think it's worth it. I think it's important. So I did, it was about an hour of fab work to get everything cut, dialed in right. We're gonna get them painted and then get them on. <laughs> 